I'm here at the Divertimenti Culinary Salon with Charles Ferniho, who's the author of Pieces of Light. Thank you for joining us. Our subject is food and memory, and you're the perfect person because this book is all talking about memory. And one of the things that struck me reading it is that memory isn't as solid, as unchangeable as I kind of thought it was. Yeah. People have a misunderstanding about memory. They tend to think that when we experience something, we take a, like a moving film of, the, of what's happening around us and we store it away and then when, when it's time to recall that event, we just kind of press play and this thing replays for us like a videotape. Actually, memory works very differently to that. It's a reconstructive process. It's a process whereby we're putting together lots of different kinds of information from lots of different places and reconstructing what happened rather than reproducing what happened. So there's lots of scope for biases and for errors to creep in, for us to very much kind of remember things the way we want to remember rather than the way they actually happened. So should, should I be suspicious of my memories or should I just not worry about it and just accept them for kind of what they are? I'm not sure that suspicion is the right <laughs> word. What I, would, what I hope to do with this book is give people enough of a background on the science but also importantly the way that artists and writers have thought about memory to give people a different relationship to their memories to rather than see them as something that is an absolute testament of the truth about the past rather to understand a bit more about how these memories come to us and how they're made and how they're managed and so to enter into a different relationship with them more along the lines of the way you'd, you'd enter you'd have a relationship with a, a story about how things happen rather than the absolute facts about how things happen so it's not about doubting all your memories it's not about throwing them all out it's not about having some existential angst about i don't remember what i rem think i remember therefore who am i we don't need to do all that we, we just don't need have to, to think. freak out it's okay. no no we don't have to freak out we we just have to have a different relationship to our memories because you talk very movingly about some trips back to Cambridge and also to I think it was Sydney in Australia mm. and about this idea of it's real memories plus what our perceptions of our memories might be plus the new act of kind of remembering and seeing these places again so it's quite multi-layered isn't it? Absolutely you know if you walk into a place where you have not been for a very long time of course that's going to stimulate some very old memories about being there but as soon as you've been in that space for a, for a couple of minutes those, those memories are starting to be overlaid with with new memories that you've just made and telling the difference between the old memories and the new me memories can be very difficult sometimes so um, and one of the things that we tend to do with memory is that we put together stuff that shouldn't really go together so we might think of two events from our past break them down into their different components and then stitch them back together the wrong way so bits of one event end up in the story of another, uh, another event and that seems to happen all the time it seems a very common phenomenon it doesn't really matter we're not we don't tend to get our pasts wrong wholesale you know you don't tend to remember a life that really didn't happen to you that would be rather odd and that would be something rather worrying you tend to get it right on the whole but you make lots of little mistakes that turn out to be very telling about the way your memory works and scientists have been able to pick up on that and say well we can learn something about the machine by looking at how it breaks down and how it goes wrong and and build up a picture of what is actually going on when we have a memory well it's a fascinating story and thank you for joining us thank you too for the divertimenti culinary salon